Hello everyone, my name is Mikhail Graham and I'm here representing Heli Direct and today we're going to be talking about three blade versus two blade helicopters. Now, many of you who know me in the hobby know that I have a thing for three blade helicopters. What started out as a curiosity of just wanting something different several years ago has turned into my favorite platform. So, of course, there are many options out on the market now. Of course, we have the SAB Ill Goblin Pro Kyle Stacy Edition, and I have a couple of others Kyle Stacy Editions behind me. And XL Power just released their three blade helicopter, a three blade upgrade for the Spectre. So, with the three blade head, three blade tail, and just for show and tell, I have a Fusion 180 that I upgraded to three blade, and I have the original Fusion with two blades. So what are some of the pros and cons of a three-blade helicopter versus two-blade helicopter? Well, the main pro is the cyclic. You're able to achieve a much higher cyclic rate for the same head speed as compared to a two-blade machine. Additionally, the cyclic response, the feel of a three-blade helicopter is very unique and unlike anything you'll ever feel on a two-blade machine. Now having three blades versus two means you have more mass and you also have more rotating mass these two in combination makes the helicopter more stable. And having three blades on the head and the tail means less vibration for the machine as well, which is great for our controllers. And if you've ever heard a three blade helicopter fly, they just have a wicked cool sound in the air. So those are some of the pros. Let's talk about some of the cons. So one of the cons of a three blade helicopter versus two blade is that it's harder to set up mechanically. Um, I will tell you from experience, trying to track three blades is not very fun. However, if you build the head properly, build the linkages properly, you won't have that issue. This is a minor concern, but it's something that you may run into if you get a three blade helicopter versus a two blade. Another con with three blade helicopters is that they can be a bit difficult to tune depending on your setup style. If you are just doing sport flying, not doing really hard 3D, then tuning the helicopter is fine. However, if you are trying to get the maximum performance, maximum tail performance, maximum cyclic, maximum collective, governor, all of that, get the most out of the machine, tuning it can be a little bit more challenging. Now, newer systems are able to handle three blades much better than previous generations, but they do take a little bit more time to get them just right. I can tell you from experience on various systems, um, three blade helicopters tend to be very sensitive to gain adjustments and they tend to be very sensitive to the D gain on pitch. In my experience, nearly every challenge I've had with tuning a three blade helicopter came down to the D gain on pitch. So just keep that in mind if you decide to get one. Counterintuitively, you would think that the collective response on a three-blade helicopter would be significantly better than a two-blade helicopter. After all, you have an extra blade to grab the air. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, three-blade helicopters just do not bite on the collective like a two-blade machine does. And this is just due to physics and rotor dynamics, but it's just something to keep in mind that if you're trying to get that you know, really hard stops, you know, running 15 degrees of pitch, it just does not happen as aggressively on a three blade helicopter. It'll still do it, but it won't do it as aggressively or as clean as a two blade helicopter. Along the same lines, the auto rotation performance of a three blade helicopter compared to a two blade helicopter, three blade just does not perform as well in auto rotations. This is, again, counterintuitive. You have more rotating mass to store up that rotational energy, and you have a third blade to capture the air on the way down. Now, again, this is just due to physics and rotor dynamics, but there is a noticeable difference in auto rotation performance between the three blade versus two blade helicopter. This next con, I wanna say is a con, but with an asterisk. So when you have three blades on the head and the tail, you obviously have more mass, more drag, and that's putting more load on the drivetrain. And of course, in order to get the best performance out of the helicopter, you need a power system that's able to keep up with that. Now, on all of my three blade helicopters, I have the X Nova 
Tariq 50XX motor. This is a big can motor. And even with this large motor, at the extreme end of head speeds, it has a hard time maintaining head speed on those hard collective moves on 12S. Now, that's on 12S. If you really want to get the absolute maximum performance out of a three-blade helicopter, big motor and 14S is the way to go. Now, here's the asterisk. I know some top-end pilots who fly the three-blade and are just using a regular 4530 on 12S, and they are getting incredible performance. Now, they're not running, you know, crazy head speeds like 2200, which is very high for a three-blade helicopter, but they're able to get very good performance with a typical power system that you would put in a two-blade machine. So this is just a matter of preference. Um, you don't need a, you know, big can motor and 14S to get good performance out of the machine. But if you want to get the absolutely max what this machine can do, you're going to need a power system that's able to keep up with it. But again, 100% preference. So I saved the most obvious con for last, cost. The cost of a three-blade kit is higher than that of a two-blade kit, usually about $100 to $150. And this makes sense because you have more parts in the head, more parts in the tail, and you're carrying around an extra main blade and an extra tail blade. Now, let's talk about crash costs. Having had three-blade helicopters over the past 10 years and having crashed many of them, I can tell you that the difference in crash costs is not as high as one would expect. The truth is, the main difference in price is really just the blades. So I know, for example, the Rototech three blade sets are about 180 bucks, and the two blade sets are about 120 bucks. Um, and the tail blade sets, I believe, are about $47, $48 for three blades, and I think like $30, $32 for, uh, for two blades. So we're talking about a difference of about $80 just for the blades. And, you know, people will argue, well, there's more energy. You're going to do more damage to the rest of the frame. And technically that's true. But in my experience, my crash cost of a three-blade helicopter versus a two-blade helicopter has honestly only been about 80 to 90 bucks, maybe a hundred bucks. Um, so... You know, depending on how often you crash, that extra hundred dollars can be significant. But we're not talking a difference of you know a four hundred dollar crash versus a seven hundred dollar crash, or you know, depending on how you crash, it might be a you know hundred dollar crash versus a hundred and eighty dollar crash. So as far as crash costs are concerned, we're talking about roughly a hundred dollars more to crash a three blade versus a two blade. And that's mainly due to the cost of the blades more than anything else. So why have I gravitated towards three blades versus two blades? Well, back when I got my very first three blade helicopter, which was the Goblin Competition Kyle Stacy edition, that was when I was just starting to transition from forward flight and forward and flips and rolls to learning how to 3D. And at that point, I had not developed a feel for how a helicopter should feel during 3D maneuvers. And so because I was learning all of those basics on a three blade machine, now this has become my comfort. So this is just my theory, but I feel like the reason why we don't see more pros using three blade helicopters is because throughout their flying career, they have mainly flown two blade machines and that's just what they've gotten used to. So of course, they can still fly a three blade machine and still put on an amazing show. But we tend to go back what we feel most comfortable with, what we are most familiar with. And I think that for a lot of pro pilots, that is a two blade machine. For me, it's a three blade machine because when I started developing my 3D skills, it was on a three blade helicopter. So should you get a three blade helicopter or two blade helicopter? Well, this is 100% your preference. I've gone over some of the pros and cons of a three blade machine versus two blade, but I will say that if you are the type of pilot that likes really high cyclic rates, and when I say high, I mean above 330 degrees per second, then 
three blade helicopter is the way to go. All of my three blade machines have their cyclic rates set to 360 degrees per second. And I've seen pros fly three blade helicopters as high as 500 degrees per second. So if you are a pilot who really likes that high flip rate, that high, that really fast roll rate, then three blades is the way to go. But beyond that, it is 100% your preference. And in today's market, you really can't go wrong with any of the choices that are out there. So with that said, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer. And of course, happy flying everyone.